friends, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. So in front of me, there are some of the most adorable little beauty products you're ever gonna find. I recently discovered Korean Beauty. These all here are Korean Beauty products. We have everything from lip gloss, we have some eye brightening sticks, tons of these cute little blushes, some hand cream, and a perfume bar. Boop. And I almost forgot this amazing sponge is called the Conjac sponge. <laughs> It is so, so cool. It feels kind of hard, kind of feels like stone. And this is great if you have oily or acne prone skin, you just rub it around your face. Kind of takes all that oil away. Love it. I just want to show you all of these things one at a time. You are going to love them. What to start with? So many adorable things. What do you guys see? We start with these little mini blushers. Here we go with our mini blushers. There's one, two, three, four, five different shades. I have never tried these before but I saw them and they just look too, too cute. Look at them. They look like these little ice cream containers. And what is this one? Plum cushion. This one is coral cushion, pink cushion, rose cushion, and peach cushion. <laughs> so we have five different shades. Let's test them. And I guess we're starting with the plum cushion. Here it is, wow. I have never seen a cuter makeup container than this one. Let's just twist the top. Oh, look at that little poof. <laughs> that is too, too amazing. I usually like putting on blush with like a little brush or brush, just a traditional one, but if you're on the go, you can keep this in there. Blot it in. Oh, that is so precious. Inside is our plum blush. Wow, that is such a nice shade. And if you look super close, oops, take the plastic off. If you look really close, it has, woo, <laughs> does this have pigment? It's got all these little glitters and sparkles. <gasps> I love that. It doesn't really remind me of plum. It's just like a cotton candy pink color. And it's not too bright, but I would say I'd use this as like a face highlighter just because it has so much shine to it. It would really like highlight your cheeks. Ooh, I like that. Such a subtle one, but really good. And you can put your little puppy in there. Close it up. Love it. Next one up. Oh, I love this cute little peachy and blue color container. It's the coral one. See, coral is kind of like an orangey pink. Ooh, that is so pretty. Kind of looks like the other one, but it's different. Looks a little bit darker. Oop, and they have this plastic piece. Why did they put that? <laughs> Got it. Oh, how cute. The little puffer for this one has a light blue one. I guess all of these are supposed to match the container. Here is the coral. Ooh, that one's super light. Really pretty. One thing I have to say about these is they feel super, super silky. They don't feel like your average blush. And I think they're more, I don't know, they're just a little more healthy for the skin than traditional blushes. That one is really light. You can barely see it. Here's a coral blusher on my finger. It's super light, but it definitely gives you like a rosy glow to your cheek. It's another good one. Another cutie pie container, and this is the rose cushion. Oh, look at that little heart. <laughs> it has the weirdest face ever, and I love these cute little flowers. The little ribbon is green. Ooh, this may be the best color yet. <laughs> it looks so, so bright, and it has so much shimmer in there. You are gonna be glowing. Oh yeah, this color is beautiful. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Just use my hand as a swatch. Oh yes. <laughs> this is the color I was hoping it would be. Look at that. And one thing with these blushes is they're pretty much a mix of a highlighter and a cheek color together because they have so much shine in them. Really pearly, that would make your cheekbone just look gorgeous. My favorite one so far, that is the rose one. Got a little green puffer. Too, too cute. And if you're curious how these little puffers work, you just dab them in. And it picks up the pigment. You could just wipe it on your cheek or kind of blot it like this. Ooh, it comes on even better than when I use my finger. Look at that. <laughs> These are just unbelievable. Looks like we're moving on to the peach cushion. I don't even 
know why they keep saying cushion. I guess it's those cute little puffers. <gasps> and it's yellow. Oh, I love this orange and green and yellow going on. That is definitely a peach. Woo. Oop, and I scratched it a little bit. That's okay because we're just gonna blend. <gasps> Ooh, that's another good one. This is kind of like a natural tone, kind of orangey, but it has so much shimmer. Woo. And this time around to show you. And instead of using my old finger, this time around, I'm gonna use the puffer just because it picks up the color so, so nice. Or the cushion as they call it. And we're gonna try the peachy one. Super light, but it's definitely giving color and it's highlighting. You may have to put a little extra. I like it. Doesn't give much color, but it does give you kind of a bronzish glow. Really nice one. I don't like it as much as the rose though. And we're on to the fifth and final cushion. It is the pink one. Oh, love this one too. Little pink poofy. Wow, this is like a baby pink. All of these were different shades of pink and corals. Really, really nice. Ooh, and this one does not have any shimmer in it. It's just like a matte one, kind of chalky. It's just poof. Put it on our little fuzzy poof there. And see. This is super light but I definitely see the color it gives. There's the color without, and here it is. I like it. You know why? It's kind of like a powder. I think it would take the shine away if you have like an oily face. It's pretty. But the color does show up much brighter on this little poofy than it does on my skin. But all of these have different shades, and I have to say I love them. Here we go. Here's all five of our blushers, all the little cutest containers, but I have to say out of all five, the rose one is the winner. It just has so much pigment to it. It's a highlighter. I know this would look gorgeous on your cheek. These were so different and I love the texture. It's really silky, not like your traditional blush. Really, really excellent. Here we go, so from blushers to some hand cream. Now when I saw this package, I thought it was too adorable. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Kind of looks like an otter or a walrus. Too, too cute. It's made by Etude House. It's like a Korean beauty line. And I'm not even sure what this is. I know it's hand cream. I don't know what scent it's in. It's called Missing You Hand Cream. Let's open this. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> It is too, too funny for words. If you saw this, it does not look like a hand cream. It looks like a little toy or something. It kind of looks like one of those kitchen timers that you turn. Let's see. And it's just some plain old white cream, but oh, it feels like silk, you guys. <laughs> it is so silky. Give it a smell. Woo! <laughs> this smells I don't know what the smell is, but it's just, I can't put it into words. First of all, this is so silky. It feels like air and the scent. It's kind of like flowers. I can't describe it. It's just too, too good. It's like you're wearing perfume. Really floral, maybe a kind of smells a little bit like aloe, but I love it. Cause I do not like that really thick, thick hand cream, like the Victoria's Secret kind or other ones. I like it when it's really smooth and lightweight, and this definitely is like that. Let's read a little bit about this cream so I know what's going on with it. It says, Etude House Missing You Hand Cream. This is Harp Seal Story. Oh, it's a little seal. Our endangered animal friends are rapidly becoming extinct from the planet. <laughs> I really want to see you. I miss you. All right, everybody, I am super confused right now. I'm just trying to figure out the scent, but it's talking about these poor little seals that are endangered. Okay, let's keep going. Hi, I am Harp Seal. I live near the Arctic Ocean, love to play in the snow and sun bees. This is formulated with a natural mixture of herbs, shea butter, and olives to moisturize, heal, and soothe hands. There it is. <laughs> It smells like herbs. I do smell the olive in there a little bit. Super moisturizing. I guess it's to benefit like seals. 
So after testing out this hand cream, I have to say that I love it. It's just such a cute little container. It leaves your hands super silky soft. Has a really, really different scent. I do smell the herbs in there, maybe a little bit of the olive, but it kind of smells like flowers too. So I really recommend this. I found it for about eight or nine dollars. Really good. Next up, we have the Bunny Lip Gloss Bars. Actually, they're called the Petite Bunny Gloss Bars, and I have never tried these before, but they just look too darn cute. I had to get them. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different colors, and most of them are pink ones. I don't know if they smell or they have different pigments. We gotta try these. Let's start with the yellow, little yellow bunny. Oh, this is so adorable. They kind of look like pens or markers. But they are lip gloss bars, and this is made by Tony Moly. I have a couple creams by that company. They are so good. Here we go. Ooh, with the yellow balm or gloss. It really doesn't give. Wow. <laughs> you guys, this is so weird. So it's yellow, but when it's going onto my skin, it's actually a pink gloss. Can you believe that? Strangest thing I've ever seen. Maybe this is like a mood lipstick. Oh, it smells really good too. It smells like cherries. So this is like magic. It's a yellow stick of gloss or lip balm. But when I put it on, it is this beautiful pink color. So much shimmer in it. Ooh, that was amazing. Let's try the orange. Here's the orange petite funny gloss. Looks like an orange highlighter. Oh, so cute looking. And I'll just twirl it up. Whoa. <laughs> this is a pure orange lip balm or lip gloss. Stick. I just don't know what it's supposed to be. It kind of feels like lip balm, but then it comes off like lip gloss. Let's try it. And I'm so curious about this color. Ooh, that's a nice one too. You know what? It is kind of orangey and peachy. Kind of pink too. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Really, really good pigment, and it looks just like this one. Would have been cool if it turned like purple or something like that. <laughs> just like the yellow turned into a bright pink. I like it. I usually don't wear orange lip gloss, but this one looks more bronzy. And I think it would look super pretty at the beach. Totally going to wear that one. Ooh, and I forgot to tell you, it smells like oranges or tangerines. It has a really citrusy scent one up is kind of a super super dark pink we get one two three four five six seven different shades of pink this is the darkest one almost looks like a red color and let's twist it up try it on this hand Ooh, that has a nice one <laughs> it's kind of like a cherry reddish pink oh, these are so good they're gonna make your lips look like lip gloss or even like lipstick is on them Smells like cherries or strawberry. This is probably my favorite color so far. And if you want to make it darker, you can just put a couple coats. Or if you want to make it super sheer, just one coat. Oh, amazing. Not only do these look so cute, the colors are just, oh, they're too good. So right in front of me, I have four different shades of pink. They really look so, so similar, but they are different. This one is kind of like a peachish pink. This is light, this is kind of a hot pink. I wonder if the colors will be the same or look a little different. Here's this one. Really pretty. You can see the pink shade to it. It's more of just a clearish gloss. It does have a pink tone and I have to say I love these because my favorite, favorite lip gloss is like a light sheer pink. So I'm gonna be using all of these. <laughs> I really will use them. This one is kind of a mauve pink, a little bit lighter. And ooh, rolling everywhere. I just have to test these on my hands to show you. Ooh, that is really pretty. Another really sheer one. Has a baby color to it, like a baby pink. Another good one. This one here is another dark one. Not as dark as the other one I tested it looks more like a neon pink and I'm hoping it has like a mega color to it I don't want it to be clear because there's so many other clear ones 
not too light, not too dark. These are so, so similar though. But I do not mind because like I said, a sheer pink lip looks so beautiful. You're not overdoing it. You have a little pink, you have a little shimmer. Just awesome colors. And I love how these twist up and down. Here's another shade of pink. <laughs> Who would have thought there was another pink one here? And what is this? Ooh, this kind of looks orangey. Hmm. See, my hand is gonna be so moisturized. <gasps> Ooh, this one is a little bit different. This is like a coral peach color. Not really pink. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is really nice. It's kind of like the orange one, but a little more peach. And most of these, I have to say, they smell like citrus. They smell like oranges. Really fresh scent. Amazing color. We are moving along. So we've tested out seven of the nine lip gloss bars and we're on to the final two. This one is like a lavender color. This one is a super, super light. I would say a cotton candy pink. Gotta try them. So we'll start with the lavender. Ooh. Does have a purple color. And if you look closely, you could see all of the sparkle and glitter in there. It's amazing. And let's see. This one is ultra sheer, but it would make your lips so glossy and shiny. And you can actually put this on top of another color just to make the color pop a little bit. Woo! So I thought this would be purple, but it really is just clear. Final one is this cotton candy pink. Well, I hope it surprises me. <laughs> I've had enough sheer and pink for the day, so I hope it's something else. Ooh, I like this one. Now this one is pink, but it's completely different. It's kind of a matte color. Really, really light. Looks more like a lipstick. Ooh, I like it. Oop, and it smells like oranges too. I thought it would have like a cotton candy scent just because of the color. Smells like the citrus. There it is, guys. All of our Petite Bunny gloss bars from Tony Moly. And my favorite color was the darker pink. I can't even remember which one it was. But my favorite gloss was this yellow one because it was so amazing. It was yellow, but when you actually put it on your lips, it turns pink. <laughs> I do not know how it did that. And you guys can leave me a comment and let me know out of all of these, which one was your favorite color. I'd love to know. The stuff here is probably the only product out of all of these that I've tried before and I love it. <laughs> it is the coolest thing ever. It's called the My Conjac Sponge. It's kind of weird looking. It looks like a stone and it's hard. It doesn't feel exactly like a stone. It feels like a super hard sponge. Let me give you an up close. It also comes with this convenient little string so you can hang it from your drain or your shower head. And here it is. It doesn't have any smell. It is made of 100% natural luxurious konjac fiber and bamboo charcoal. <laughs> it's suitable for oily and acne prone skin. Now I don't have acne, but sometimes my face gets a little bit oily, especially when I wear makeup or foundation. So when I wake up in the morning and I go to bed at night, I just use this in the shower and I rub it on really gently in like a circular motion. And I tell you, it works. <laughs> it makes my skin less oily the next day. It makes it super soft. And it's just amazing. I love it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys if you ever wanted to get it. We are on to our final two Korean beauty treats. And they are super adorable. You are going to love them. So this one here, actually I have used this one before as well. I ran out, so I ordered another one. It's called Panda's Dream So Cool Eye Stick. And you're probably thinking maybe it's like concealer, but it's not. Ooh, it's by Tony Moly as well. Love that company. First of all, look at this cute little panda. It looks like a lipstick. <laughs> but when you open it, it is kind of this light blue, balmy stick. You just put it right under your eyelids, and it's like a cooling balm. As soon as you put it on, it tingles. Oh, it smells so good, too really can't describe the smell. It's just moist. It's not minty. Oh, it smells like perfume. Really good. And you feel this instantly. 
it kind of feels like you're rubbing a block of ice on your hand. It's so cold. I don't know how it stays cold because it's really hot in my room, <laughs> but it feels like an ice cube. And when you have puffy eyes, you just put it under your eye and dab it on there and it makes such a difference. It takes the redness and poofiness away and it just feels so, so good. It kind of feels like one of those eye masks that have the ice inside, but it's in this cute little stick. You can carry it around with you. You can travel with it. I will never know how they make this little piece of what feels like lip balm or lipstick feel like ice. <laughs> I wish I could find that secret out. It's so amazing. Boop. And the final beauty review of the day is another one of these cute little sticks. This is called a pocket bunny. It's a perfume bar by Tony Moly again. This kind of looks like the little bunnies on the lipstick. Too adorable. A little bunny perfume stick. It is super adorable. Look at that little button on there. Now this looks like a mega big lip balm or lipstick, but it is like a perfume and it's baby powder scented. When I tell you this smells like baby wipes or baby powder, it is amazing. <laughs> you are going to smell so fresh and clean with this. And basically you just dab it on wherever you would spray the perfume, like on your neck. You could put it on your arms, wherever. And it just smells so, so good. It's really strong. You only need a little bit. Ugh, it's too, too good for words. And again, I love the packaging on this. And there it is, everybody, the end of my Korean beauty haul. So many amazing things from hand cream. We got some eye stick, perfume, cute little sponge, blushers, lip gloss, so many things. And out of every single thing, I have to say this little panda's dream eye stick is my fave. I just find it amazing that it turns so icy cold. I don't know how it does that. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.